so we don't know who it is let's go here let's develop the night protecting the pawn at the same time develop the other night attacking the pawn but also making space pretend oh they're going for some sort of weird gambit thing so they're allowing us to take here but then he's got the pawn here if we take he's got centralized maybe we can start putting pressure on his king um i think i'm going to take this pawn here okay so circle round we've got two on this at the minute anyway but now he's protecting with the pawn there so we're going to hit the king obviously it's easily defended but at least we're making space to go and castle let's take the bishop off okay and let's castle for king safety so fairly happy now can probably expect now some attacks coming down here i'm going to hit this pawn before he does do that but i think it's still going to come anyway so we've got like three pieces on this pawn is he going to get three pieces protecting he's got one protecting at the minute but I don't think he's going to get three pieces protecting. Well, maybe he's got two. He's got two. Um, right, so that's a nice shot, actually, isn't it? It means I have to move it out of the way. That's where Bishop's not got the angle here, so we can bring the knight back. I don't think there's any point in taking, is there? Mm, no. Okay, let's just bring the knight back. That might work let's slow the brain down a little bit now because we have got castle this pro oh, is going kingside castling so for a moment he's blocked he's only got the knight defending we don't we do have potential for attacking here opening up space to see if we can attack their queen putting a two on one on this pawn as well so he does push down we can circle around attack the bishop I think the bishop either comes here or comes here to defend. Is there anything else? Can't get a fork just yet. I'd have to have this rook here. Which is a shame. So I'm going to attack the bishop. Obviously, like we said, he either comes here or here. Actually moves it all the way back. So we still have a two-on-one, but he has a two-on-one protection with the queen and his knight. If we get the rook involved then we can potentially push up he's going to queenside castle but any development of my white square bishop yet uh, i think i'm going to just um, see if we can get this pushed up he does have the stealth bishop which has actually blocked his rook so do we win a kind of tempo because his rooks are not going to get really linked up it's not clear yet I need to slow my brain down. I'm in um, narration mode, seeing the moves, thinking it like thinking like it's actually nailed on when it's not. Okay, so we do have the two on one, but he does have the two on one protection. So again, my knight is going to be hiding in the corner. This has got to stop. Damn. There's nowhere else for it to go. Oh, this has got to stop. I'm going to have to bring him off with, off these edges. So it does, so it gives us, oh, he's got the stealth bishop. Oh. Oh. I'm told, I said, didn't I? I was in narration mode, talking like I've got it sewn up. I should talk it through first. I hate being in narration mode. It makes it sound like you know what you're talking about and then you're just gonna do, do the moves. That's not the way to play chess. You play chess by focusing on your moves, calculating properly. I'm gonna bring the bishop out here. That's a travesty, is that? So it's equal on material type situation. So it's not too much to get bent out of shape over. Um, but yeah, it's messed up my position and everything now. Ah, dear me. It's totally messed it up. Okay, Queen's got protection by the knight. Hmm. Well, okay, that's just. I need to get this knight off the back, but it's not moving from there. I'm going to attack this pawn. 
images push past. Narration mode is the killer of most of my games. Just sit back because the narration isn't really the calculation. The calculation is looking at what is appropriate on the board, making sure that it is as nailed on as possible. Then you make your move. You don't go chit chat, chit chat, and then move straight away. That's terrible play. So, how are we get, yeah, I'm going to take this queen off the board. Thought it was going to take with the other knight actually, but he's just defending. So, let's take here. So now we've got isolated pawns, which is not a good scene, but the opponent has to do it. So he's now freeing up his knight, his bishop, sorry. Let's bring the knight through here. So he's attacking the isolated pawn. I'm thinking the knight can do something, but it's not really hitting anything. Got a white square bishop that can come back and defend. Don't think that's really what it's therefore but we'll do that anyway ah dear one mistake and my position's not good can we claw it back can we get back into the game that is the question favour white now, now that he's got his rooks linked up and his owning files as well yeah he's looking to press onto my knight now he's put a lot of thought into that, I'm going to just attack his knight I'm not overthinking <clears throat> smaller piece attacking a higher piece and it's in front of their king area, maybe we can make some space and something doesn't feel right with what's just happened, get a check on the king and something still doesn't feel right because we don't have any protection here and his knight's going to dance all over the damn place his rook is going to come here put a two on one and he's going to be on the knight as well this is going to hurt yeah so if, I, oops, if I come here with my rook thinking yeah I'm protecting his rook comes down <coughs> nothing <coughs> excuse me nothing can take he's got a two on one on my bishop and then behind the bishop is the knight and nothing's protecting that so I might, I might have to just bring the bishop here he's got a massive hit on me here as well oh he's, he's too clever for me he's come down for the knight rook's protecting, king's protecting Come on, he must be falling into some sort of trap. Let's bring this knight here, attacking the rook. Come on, all this attacking thing, they've got to have some gaping holes. Knight dance attacking this pawn, attacking the bishop. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, thank you. Crikey, the only way that was going to happen. Well, he's still playing on though, like he's got it sewn up. Let's just block. If he takes, takes. Need to get my rook in the game. Uh, need to get the rook in the game. Need to get the rook in the My bishop he can't do now, can it? Let's attack this pawn with the rook. Need to get the rook in the game, like I said. So he's defending. going to push so I can get my bishop in the game as well he's still playing on I'm surprised it's making me work washing machine again the Sunday wash oh, ok concentrate we need to get this bishop out I believe uh, so if we attack the knight and take his knight off the board oh for free and take this pawn off with a check whoosh damn how did we come back from that it might not have been anything major but it felt major to me we messed up our position 
and we lost the advantage it, that's what it felt like anyway so let's have a quick shifty at uh, this let's take that off there let's get to that position where I messed up the timing of the piece so we went and attacked the pawn what's it saying knight d5 hiding in here still can get attacked can't this just push on to here oh well, that's saying it's good for us if they do that oh, I might bear that in mind next time I always think um, go for this pattern here of attacking the pawn but that really didn't seem to work for us anyway did it because then he came and protected with his pawn so that might have been the start of the problem then really not bringing the knight in here being very fearful that well it's just going to get attacked can I just go through the process there and see so it goes there so it's saying we're winning so it dances all the way over to the other side and attacks it does it not just do no it can't do that the bishop will take it so then maybe they do this type of thing which is really bad for them Ooh, okay is there anything else defending that knight maybe develop the knight yes okay that's a more winning thing yeah I quite like that touch so I must remember I need to I think there's occasions where you can do this one but obviously it's not in this game because it's def getting defended maybe if mind you hold on there yeah so we're down that tempo anyway so we should have just gone straight to there okay I'm interested in that one I can work that one in hopefully fingers crossed I remember so captured captured so we brought the knight to the wrong side and then tried to attack through the edges of the center castled feeling good about the castling then attacked the pawn moved and yeah was it the attack in the pawn that was the problem taking yeah and that's yeah okay okay so we're plus one at the moment so that's not where the problem lay it's because we actually gave them gave them the pawn back from a bad maneuver i think it's this attacking yeah look it's got the stealth bishop it's got a two on one there so we didn't need to do that yeah and it's currently minus 0 0.5 never here nor there but doing that silly move that really wasn't wise attacking the bishop simple straightforward okay so we know what we did wrong um, but even before this stage there was the knight move so that's something to throw into my mental roller decks quite nicely I, can, I think I can work that in yeah happy with that okay so then we fought back trying to improve our position on the board it's still showing um, plus two so it's quite major for me uh, it's plus two for white in that sense so really they should re really be winning at this point they should really be taking advantage and we kind of got trapped in our own little bubble as well here but it was all really going to be based on what the opponent did so we, we were attacking a higher piece with a lesser piece the knight actually moves to attack so we can take the rook off the board and yeah I didn't think this was the best move I mean this is plus seven now so they should be out and out winning it's uh, saying g5 and that's what they did they played the g5 so we attacked the pawn what was the mate I don't know about this rook thing I mean yeah it's attacking but it so then the knight comes through and oh look it's checkmate in one <laughs> Dear, the rook just has to come down there <laughs> how many games are we going through like this where we just we, we <laughs> uh, the opponent had the win oh dear of me I can't even yeah well I can't take it because they missed it didn't they a mate in one oh it's all over 
but they didn't see it and these types of things happen even in my own games you know you miss like mates or mating patterns and you spend a lot of time dancing and doing some other maneuvers and when you look back on your evaluation you could have finished it in one or two moves oh and he actually put it there to actually get taken as well by the night oh and that's so bad oh well i don't want to show anymore now really uh, so they resigned okay not at that point but uh, <laughs> that was crazy hey excellent uh, i think that's a game of like not giving up never giving up and just uh, continuing in the game um we had a bad start and we tried to claw it back and our position was shot all the way through the game really and it was proven by the fact that the opponent could have got a mate in one our position was not very good but if it was like an official game and the opponent missed it they missed it you know it, it, and you go on to win the game you've won the game you can go back on the evaluation and go oh but you know he had a mate in one but who won the game at the end of the day the opponent missed it so you've got to take those opportunities aren't you although you've got to try and avoid getting into those positions realistically and that's what i'm going to attempt to do um we had a very bad start in this game and it does show it's really quite difficult coming back from a bad start it's not impossible which we've also proven as well uh, in quite a lot of games where we're down material bad position or whatever and we still come back and gained advantages in games so that's the idea of just keep on going because the opponent if they're human they're going to make they can make mistakes and it's really quite funny when they do make a mistake because then all your training comes down to that one moment where you take advantage of that mistake interesting game